Hi guys, welcome back to another fantastic day out here at the island. Um, we're out here with the electric airboat and our electric outboard kit, and uh, we're gonna be having a little bit of fun today. Yeah, I mean, uh, like we haven't been at home for so long, so I mean, we haven't been able to make continued videos. That, that's right. Um, so, but but we thought we well, we might catch up on some stuff. That's right. We've um, been promising some big stuff. Yeah. Uh, first of all, last time we promised range tests. We did. We haven't done that, or we have done, but we didn't make a video about it. There was so, no range. No. <laughs> <laughs> there was plenty of range. There was, there was so much range we couldn't film at all. Yeah, plenty of range. This got what, like roughly? Oh, we've calculated this to be like twenty. We haven't yeah. we haven't actually tested twenty kilometers. That's right. I've done fifteen yeah. in it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So you've done fifteen, calculated twenty. That's right. Uh, this one will do twenty. No, uh, this one, the big boat with the little outboard, will do fifteen. Yes. And the outboard on the little boat will do twenty. Twenty to twenty-five. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's so good... actually stacks of efficiency and a stack of range to get you around. Uh, and around here for us, it's just absolutely perfect. Yeah. There's plenty of range. Uh, plenty of range, absolutely. But if we move on to the battery box, that's right. Uh, you've done some changes. Well, actually, um, just a little bit of cleaning up. Um, it was a real rat's nest before, as it, w it was a real um, prototype. And as it still looks today, um, there's a few things that we haven't done. But let me just very briefly tell you, we've got the charging on that side, we've got the battery in the middle, and we've got the ESC over here. And we're, um, we're moving into winter now, so you have put... That's right. So yeah. one of the major um, challenges we've got, of course, with uh, lithium batteries, uh, in this case the LiPos, is that uh, you can't charge them under zero degrees. So we've installed a heating coil around the battery, wrapped it in insulation, and got that working. Um, so that it triggers before uh, charging and uh, everything's automated so you just plug it in and leave it as per usual. Uh, it'll heat up as needed. You, you integrated the box into the seat of the airboat just because, well, it was a bit in the way, wasn't it? Well, I mean, it's just a fair bit of this, um, this stuff is our daily commute. So, like, it's really gonna work. You don't wanna be standing here, the wind and the rain's pouring down and you just got issues. I mean, you just wanna get in it, you turn it on, and off you go. Yeah. And we've uh, really, really succeeded with that. Um, we've made some safety improvements to the cage and that got it all caged up. So yeah, I think we'll show you a little bit of uh, what this thing goes like. Yeah. Smooth as butter out there today. Do and, some more uh, open open water running. We'll do a bit of open water running for sure. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget. Oh, the main thing, the main thing. That's right. We're gonna be doing a thrust test. Hugely scientific, of course, um, <laughs> with all parameters taken care of for you. Now we're actually going to uh, use this uh, fantastic crane scale, uh, which will measure up to 300 uh, kilograms of weight. And uh, we're gonna whack it onto the back of the um, airboat. We're just going to calculate a little bit of the thrust that uh, we get. You calculate. We're just going to see what it pulls out in the water. That's that's basically what. That's pretty much yeah. it. But it'll be quite interesting anyway. It'll to be see. fun. That's right. So let's go. You're going to drop that scale in the water. I'm going to make sure I don't. <laughs> All right. Yeah. First attempt was a miserable fail, but now we've got a good rope to steer the like just that's just there to kind of steer the boat straight and we've dried out the scale, <laughs> put it in front of a fan for five minutes, so now now we're all back up and running, I think. Hey by the way, what do you expect it to do? Um uh, well, I'm hoping it'll sort of end up at around about seventy. Seventy? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Zero out. Alrighty. Okay, that's zeroed. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so uh, we're reading off uh, 70 kilograms uh, of thrust. Dude, I saw the little rope stretch. I was like, I'm... St uh. It was pretty windy behind there. <laughs> so, uh, I can say this. That's around about 50% of power. Um, so, to go from the 70 kilos up to the 
uh, manufacturers uh, 95 kilograms. We're probably actually going to get to about 90 kilograms if we were to let the ESC and the batteries and everything go cook. flat out. <laughs> if but we, we aren't let going them to be cook, yeah, okay. Well, let's uh, let's have a look at the uh, the stats and then maybe go for a bit of a go spin. Go for a bit of a ride. Yep. Windows update. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All right, so um, what we're going to do is we're just going to go into the uh, logs here. This is the APD configurator. Uh, these guys do a great job. Here's some of the uh, bits and pieces you can go through here. And um, some different modes. You've got your motor drive, um, what size motor you've sort of got, your throttle, your ramp up at, um, response and your ramp down response, how much dead zone you want in between going forwards and reverse. You've got some limits on that, basically current limits. Now, we've had to work a fair bit with that because we've had a lot of overheating of the ESC. Uh, or not a lot, should I say, we did get it um, pretty right. But when the weather's really hot and you're hammering it and you're running things at the extremes, we're getting pretty, pretty hot temperatures in there so that we're triggering the um, the, the limits on the that and things are cutting out for us. Got it, as you can see, not trimmed up to the 300 above, but down to 150 at the moment, which was what we were running on the thrust test. We're just going to get the logs now and uh, have a bit of a look at that. And in looking at this, yes. yeah, what we're going to see here, unfortunately it doesn't go uh, full screen here, uh, which isn't really a problem. But what we can see, I'm just going to uh, remove all of these things. Um, and if any of you guys down at APD are looking, a deselect all button would be perfect. And what we're going to see here is just going to look at the voltage curve. You can see a massive voltage drop here. So we're doing all right here. We've got 96 volts, uh, 98 volts, sorry, which yes is what the battery is charged to at the moment. And as you can see, as we're uh, throttling along um, and just building up, the battery's handling it quite fine. But at the end there, when I floored it towards the end of the um, thrust test, you can see there's a big voltage drop. The battery pack's way too small in some regards, actually to crank all that out all the time so you get a lot of battery sag doesn't actually quite affect the performance um, at all. Let's have a look at the current, and you can see the current here. What did we peak at? Um, drawing just over 200 and uh, just over 180, or actually 190, 190 amps, all right, and for the thrust at the end there. We can actually um, see how many watts we were outputting, and as you can see as we're ramping up here, um, so we were going from... Um, 400 700 watts 4000 watts in the middle there uh, towards the end here you can actually see we're outputting uh sixteen and a half thousand watts the motor is designed for a continuous twenty five thousand. so we're putting out sixteen thousand. it's defined, designed for continuous twenty five thousand with a peak of thirty five thousand now getting from sixteen thousand to twenty five thousand requires a fair bit more uh, battery capacity and a fair bit more cooling along that ESC but Sure, we're going to go that way. It's already insane, so I can't think what another like 10,000 watts would do. It's crazy, look, 70 kilos of thrust um, puts this thing at about 50 kilometers an hour on water or 100k an hour plus on ice. It'll easily do it. I've done 40 in this thing. I don't want to do too much more without a helmet. 40 and on water? 40 on water and I've done 70 on ice. Okay, well then 100 isn't... Yeah, that's not far so, off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's not do that. Let's... So yeah. well, let, let, let's let's so go for a bit of a this. bit of a ride. It's and, not it's uh, nice and calm out. So so enough of all the tech talk. Let's uh, shut down and get out of here.
cool. Yeah, is it and chilly cold. now? <laughs> My hands are freezing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been good. Um, a lot of the time out there, we're doing uh, just on 25k an hour um, and cruising about. It's just, it's a gem. It's just like a bar of soap straight across the top of the water. Just slides perfectly. It just goes really, really good. So. Really happy with the performance, and it's just so much fun. Yeah. What a machine. And I'm happy that thing didn't eat my drone. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks very much, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, all the rest of the stuff. Throw your uh, comments and your questions down below. We'll definitely get back to you. And uh, until we get the next video out, enjoy yourselves. <laughs> See you later. What are you doing? Me? Yeah. Pretending to be you, obviously. Oh, hi guys, welcome back to this weird island I'm on. Look at me, I'm so special, I've made an airboat. Well, I can make an airboat too. <laughs>